Let me go back. It's autumn in Michigan, my favorite time of year. And uh, today we were gonna do a small batch of cabbage rolls. Word got out. We're gonna make a ton of cabbage rolls today. Um, I was just gonna make them for uh, my crew, Lindsay and myself, not for next week. Somebody open their mouth. I want some, I want some. And we gotta go around town to our friends who can't get around the kitchen and stick down the oven very much and uh, drop them off. So we're gonna be doing a ton of cabbage rolls. We have rice, I've already done this. And I uh, did it in a rice cooker. It took about 20 minutes. We're gonna time, you know, have this kind of timed out for you because your soccer miles, you can't do this at night when you get home. This will be a good one on a Sunday morning Prepare maybe even Saturday night with a bottle of red and uh, getting ready to go when your husband's friends come over, burp and fart and everything else they do. Uh, they'll have something to eat when they see the lions get beat. So, here we go. I boiled the rice. This is the sauce we made uh, in a couple videos ago, our tomato sauce. Tomatoes, basil, salt is all that's in there, right? We're going to use some diced tomatoes too, which I never got to because my canon days were numbered, right? You see red pepper, thyme, paprika, salt, pepper, onion, pepper, avocado oil. I'm going to show you how to do this um, cabbage real quick. Here we go. What we want to do is um, we're going to boil this for, I don't know, until it gets done. Uh, you'll be able to see when the leaves start peeling off. You have to core this. You got to get rid of this thing to get the boiling water in the cabbage so it you know kind of cooks even right so try to get this thing out of there kind of a job keep on digging 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 ha! okay now we get this out a little bit more and you can see the layers where the water is going to penetrate into the boiling water that's what you're going to want that way your cabbage is all getting done at the same time. You won't have to put it back in the pot. Those are old buddy, what's up? Dog fight. And something like that, right? You see all the layers that are gonna get hot water. I've already got one in there. Like I say, we've been doing a bunch of these today. So that's demonstrating how to get your cabbage cored, right? We're going to start with some oil in a pan. This is the kind of seasoning you want on your cast iron pan. I could shave out of that thing. Turn on the heat first. I'm going to do the same on the back. I've got some uh, vegetables cut up, some onions, some peppers um, in advance. And they are right in the ice box. I have celery chopped up. I've got onions, I've got green peppers, I've got garlic in here also chopped up. I've got some parsley chopped up, which we're going to uh, add in our mix and as a garnish when we're done uh, today on top of these. So, this baby gets rocking. I'm gonna put half of this in, right? It only take a few minutes to cook down. In there will go the tomato sauce, okay? The rest of this will go in our stuffing mix with our peppers, our meat, and our tomato sauce when the tomato sauce gets warm. Get! Get that dooler. This is our uh, utility tomato sauce, which can be thicker. I left it thin because I could thicken it. I can uh, do several things with it. Tomatoes, basil, salt is all that we use this year. It's on our video that we did during our canning times. Uh, we're gonna get back with you in a minute when we get our pants hot and we're gonna commence to cooking stuff. And I'll also show you how to uh, peel that cabbage. Get back with you. Down. 
Okay, we got our seasoning in our uh, meat, sausage, hamburger mixed together, garlic going in our um, peppers and our onions and all that. And then we're going to dump in our sauce. Uh, as soon as those um, the garlic clumps get going a little bit more, I need a spoon. And here we go. Start to come together. Smell that, lens? Yeah. Heat. Yeah, boy. Okay, now that's good enough there. It only takes a few seconds. We're going to start dumping this in. This is our all purpose sauce. We're going to simmer this down until it thickens right up, gets all the flavors in there. We're going to put in these diced tomatoes. And I'll get back with you when we do that. It goes in that pot right there. Okay, we're going to start peeling our cabbage here. And these leaves just peel off. Gonna lay them down like such. Maybe. We don't wanna tear these. It's gonna be, what's gonna happen? It's gonna be like a, a meat burrito. Cabbage burrito, I guess, right? When you get them rolled and everything. We should get about 10 or 12 out of each head of cabbage. It's hot. Okay, what we've got here is about 10 and we had to, it got a little hard to peel so we put the remainder back in the pot to um, soften up, I guess, right? Now, what you're gonna have when you do these, see these are not gonna be very pliable with this rib in here. We're gonna cut this rib out to make it ever so pliable, right? And every one of these that has this, we're gonna cut that out. And then it's gonna bend a lot better. You see the difference in bending right now, Lens, right? Now you can cut a little triangle out of there, but then you have the meat leaking out. And I don't like to do that. I don't get down with that at all. So, just another way. Just uh, peel that thing right off of there and you're good to go. I'm gonna do this on all these. Uh, we're gonna go back with you and uh, we're gonna be stuffing these in about 20 minutes. Now we're gonna preheat our oven to 350 degrees. We're gonna bake these in a, I don't know what you call those, nine by 13s? Yeah, baking And we're gonna fill those babies right up and we're gonna put them in the oven for one hour and a half at 350. Get back with you. God, it smells really good in here. Well, <laughs> tell you the last time I did this, we had to have traffic control out here. We left the windows open. And it was a traffic jam out here. That's another time we said too much, shouldn't have. And uh, we made a ton of them that day also. So this is my leftovers. I'm not gonna waste that, right, Liz? I put some parsley in my rice. I'm gonna add this in here too. We're gonna put this in our finished product also. Why not? Why waste, right? I put some parsley in there. And uh, we're gonna add this in here. Remember we had the cheese out? I grated that stuff, that's hard on the wrist. I'm gonna put all this in here too. Waiting for our meat to get done. And I have probably about 15, I did good, out of that head of cabbage. Um, gonna put in the other head of cabbage here pretty quick because we're gonna keep doing this all afternoon. Little bit of cheese. We're gonna get a baking pan out. We're gonna start wrapping these babies up as soon as these are done here and here. It's getting close. Then magic happens. Get back with you. And our meat to our mixture here so far. Rice, our um, parsley, some of our celery. Ah, boy, that's heavy. I hate to get hit in the head with this thing. Okay, and uh, we had celery, we had onions, we had garlic. Now, we're just gonna use just a little bit of this sauce in there. Hold on, not much, don't get excited here. I need a scoop. And we're gonna use just enough to get this a little bit wet. We're gonna go with an egg. We're gonna go with some breadcrumbs, just like we make our meatloaf. We'll get back with you when we commence to mixing this. It's too hot right now. Gonna give it a second. Uh, talk to you in a minute.
Okay, it's time to commence to uh, wrapping these babies up. Like I said, they're uh, cabbage burritos. And uh, what we're gonna do with our pan here, we're gonna take some tomato sauce, just to layer the bottom so the um, cabbage rolls do not burn while they're in the oven. Simple as that. We're gonna add just a little bit of cheese to that too, because we can. And what happened to our cheese right here? Just sprinkle a little bit. Just don't go nuts. Go nuts if you want to. Everybody's different. Okay, now, cabbage rolls, there we go. We're gonna commence to uh, rolling these. Well, we got a lot of fruit space between everything. That was my practice one for video. That's what they're gonna look like. They're cabbage burritos. Right? So, we cut off all the, remember the ribs, we cut off. And then, I gotta get me a scoop of this stuff. As soon as Lindsay gets out of my way. And, just put it in like this. Cameraman. A little bit more. This is a small leaf, so we'll see how this works. Roll first. Tuck, tuck, like a burrito. All right, and that's as simple as it is. Put them in the thing here. Just uh, stuff them in there. There's room on the sides. We want them packed in tight. And uh, we're gonna roll a couple more for TV land. And then we'll get back with you. Here, we put in um, one cup of breadcrumbs, two eggs. We have two pounds of hamburger, half a pound of sausage. Okay, our rice, that was in the rice cooker. Leftover cabbage, cut it up anyway. Our sauce, uh, just maybe uh, two ladles full of sauce, right? And then we have Worcestershire sauce in there. Um, eggs, what else we have? Breadcrumbs, like I say, one cup. A little bit of parsley, we're gonna have some more of that. Uh, some cheese, um, we're gonna roll another one for TV land, and uh, I'm gonna roll the rest of these and get back with you when we're all rolled up. We're gonna put them and preheat the oven for 350 degrees for an hour and a half. We'll get back with you. Tuck, tuck, roll. Burrito. Cabbage burrito. Put it in there. Okay, it's our first batch. We got two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 so far, and we're still cooking. Now, what we want to do, more cheese. You don't have to put cheese on. Uh, you don't have to use beef. You don't have to use sausage. You don't have to use um, sauce. Uh, you can make them with chicken. You can make them with uh, pork, lamb, tofu. Um, I don't know what else, but uh, here's how we're going to roll. We're just going to put some more of our nice tomato sauce on, right? And then we're going to cover them up with tinfoil. We're going to put them in at 350 degrees for one and a half hours. We'll check them. And then the last 15 minutes, we're going to take the cover off and uh, have these uh, things uh, go crazy without the um, tinfoil on top. Um, so you get our drift. We'll get back with you. We're going to put this in the oven. Gourmet guilt back, um, one hour, 350. And uh, what we're gonna do is just make them look nice. Right, Lens? Yeah. And how many we get there, you think? We got two, mm -hmm. four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. And uh, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 35, 36 in our first batch. So, we're going to try these, and we're going to do another batch today for 72, call it quits. Haul them around and uh, deliver, right? So we're going to let these set for about 10 minutes, and we're going to try them and get back with you. i got to give you a cold one, and uh, it's going to be gourmet gel. We're going to close it out. Talk to you in a little while. Gourmet guilt back. Uh, this is our finished product. Um, we did almost 80 of these today, and we're gonna try it right now. We love our cabbage rolls, don't we, Lens? Mm-hmm.
I'm gonna give it a go. These are the best. I think it's the best I ever made this time for some reason. I don't know what we did different, but it's been a long time since we cooked them. Um, anyway, these are great. Takes a while to make them, let's face it, but they're gonna be good when you do make them. And um, we're gonna close this out by saying, our police, our military, um, our usual first responders, we're at COVID's coming back again, here we go. Uh, but anyway, uh, friends and subscribers, we've done uh, several thousand views and we're up to about 75 subscribers. Um, advertisers are on the way and uh, maybe we'll make this something big. Um, thanks guys and uh, happy fall. Gourmet Gilf out.